Since 1968, Mackey Motors has been the place to find new and certified used vehicles. Along with a knowledgeable and helpful sales staff, you, the customer, are their number one priority. Find new roads at Mackey Motors in Lake City. Back here on the Mackey Motors post-game show, find new roads at Mackey Motors in Lake City. Carter Putney with the uh, Cumber Knights and joining us here tonight. Carter, congratulations. Uh, you guys do this a lot. This is a team that, that, that never shies away from, you know, late inning rallies. And tonight you guys do it here in the sixth inning. Um, why is this team always so confident no matter what the score is? And I know tonight was only 2-1, but it doesn't seem like what the score is late in the game. If you guys are behind, you always have confidence that you can come back. Uh, we always have confidence because we have coaches who push us to keep going when we're down and to keep making noise to rattle the other pitchers. Tonight you come up, let's start with that at bat in the sixth inning. Um, you got a base hit in the first, you reached on a fielder's choice in the fifth, but uh, you come up there in the sixth, um, you know a base hit probably scores you a couple with the bases loaded. Take us through that, that at bat and how you were able to get that base hit. Um, well, I was just thinking we need to get this, we need to get two runs at least just to give us that extra two runs so we're up by three. And we walk up there and I watch as they put in a new pitcher and he's been throwing hard, which we knew he would throw hard when he came in. And they, we've seen a lot of fast pitchers, so we, I was used to it. So I was thinking, oh, I can get a base hit off this guy. So. I just walked up there and kept my cool and hit the ball out there. Were you looking fastball or what were you looking for? I was mostly looking for fastball because the curveball, I don't really want to swing at that in a late game situation. Were, did you kind of judge right? Did you kind of anticipate him going through an inside or outside to you on that base hit? Um, I just assumed he'd try and throw it down the middle since he walked the first two guys that he threw to. Let's take us through the hitting for you this season. Uh, you've really had a nice year. Um, you've really come on strong here the last few weeks. What adjustments and how long did it take you after golf season to kind of get back into that baseball swing? I know they're a little bit different, but not that terribly different. Um, it took me a couple weeks because at the beginning of the year, I struck out mm -hmm. a lot and I had a pretty low batting average. And then as I went on, we had the coaches teaching us to have shorter swings and leading with the knob, which helped us to hit the ball better. and. I just figured it out about two, three weeks into the season, and I've been hitting well ever since. Well, I tell you what, great job out here tonight. Appreciate you coming up. Best of luck coming up Tuesday, whoever you get with Ridgeview or West Monona. Thanks. You bet, Carter Putney joining us. We're going to get uh, Cooper Potterbaum to slide in here, and we'll get uh, Coop on both of the headsets. I have this headset here, and then we'll have him grab that other mic as well. So. Coop, appreciate you joining us here tonight. Uh, great game for you. I, I got to start out. I, I imagine you were here at the Merchants game the other day when uh, Kyle Berg gunned that runner down from third, and then you come out tonight and do it. It wasn't much different of a play. Take us through that play, and how did that play out from your point of view? Yeah, so I knew I'd uh, I, a guy on second with one out. Well, I had to catch it, which I know I have a pretty good arm, but I just had to make a play when it I came down to it. Did you know you, you made the perfect throw once it left your hand? Not really, because it was, it was pretty sunny at the beginning, and so I kind of just hoped it was there, and Benicio made a good tag. How do you battle the sun out there in right field? You know, you can hope sunglasses do it, but most of but you can hope for <laughs> hope if they do the job. You read the ball off of the bat so well. How do you do that, and especially out there in right field where that sun beats on you so much early in the game? Yeah, you just got to stay focused most of the game and trust your speed. Let's take it through the plate here tonight. Really good game for you. I had you one for two tonight. Scored a couple of times. Had a walk in there tonight as well. Stole a couple of bases, yeah. including home. Take us through that play. What set up the steal of home here tonight? Yeah, so Coach was saying, watch the catcher, back, like, like the throw back to the pitcher. And so I was just focused, read it, and went. Did, did you kind of know which pitch you were going on, or was that just kind of a, this is the one, I'm gone? Yeah, well, I saw he was he's dropped to his legs, like to his knees, and so I just made, made an adjustment. What's this win mean for this group of guys? It's a great win going into the playoffs. I mean, they play us really tough every year. They're a great ball club, so it means a lot going into the playoffs. Does it matter to you guys who you see in the opening round uh, after Saturday night's game? Um, I don't think it matters, but I know we'll be ready. Well, I tell you what, Cooper, congratulations. Appreciate you joining us here tonight. Best of luck coming up next week. Thank you. You bet, Cooper Potterbaum again with the uh, Kemper